Here are three things to know for Tuesday, August 6th, keeping farm workers safe. Health and Human Services Secretary Javier Becerra visited with farm workers today in Clarksburg in observance of Farm Worker Appreciation Day. He spoke with them about the impacts of heat and smoke. And now we're trying to move to see if we can help the Department of Labor move forward with regulations that will help establish better standards for workers who might be exposed to extreme heat or to uh, harmful smoke. Back in March, HHS launched an initiative to address these growing threats. The CDC is now developing a report on wildfire smoke impact on workers and recommendations to protect them. The state legislature is trying to ban harmful food dyes in California public schools. Assembly Bill 2316, the California Food Safety Act, would prevent schools from serving foods containing chemicals linked to harming children and interfering with their ability to learn. The bill is based on research and science done by the state of California. I believe that we as lawmakers and as parents have a responsibility to protect our kids. We have a responsibility to make sure that the food that we serve them in our public schools is not going to harm them and is not going to interfere with their ability to learn. The bill needs to be on the governor's desk by the end of the month where he could either sign or veto it. Calm returned to Wall Street today after the stock market saw one of the sharpest drops in two years on Monday. The S&P 500, Dow Jones and NASDAQ all saw slight bumps at closing thanks in part to strong profit reports from Uber and other companies. Despite this, concerns about a slowing economy continue as all eyes are now on the Federal Reserve and possible interest rate cuts next month.